Hello, I'm Dr. Vita Rettan and this channel is dedicated to skincare for skin of colour. As you know, I'm a doctor, but I'm also a cosmetic formulator specifically for skin of colour. So today's video is all about acetic acid and is it suitable for our skin? If that sounds good to you, give me a thumbs up. Let's dive right in. Acetic acid is actually one of my favorite ingredients. I love ingredients that are multifunctional, that work well on skin of color without damaging our skin barrier or leading to irritation. So as you know, with skin of color, we have larger melanocytes that are easily triggered. Those are cells that produce the pigment melanin. That's why I always say one scratch, one bite or one burn and we hyperpigment. This means we can't afford to be wearing ingredients on our skin that are too harsh, that can damage the skin barrier, lead to inflammation, trigger the melanocyte and then lead to pigmentation because the problem for us is that the pigmentation can last for months or even years. And the trauma, the psychological trauma of having pigmentation in a visible part of the face or body can really restrict us. It means that we don't want to wear things that we normally would feel comfortable wearing. We may not want to go out. We may not want to see people. We may not feel comfortable in our own skin. This is why I created this channel is so that it's a reference library for us and for our children to see what we should and shouldn't be wearing. As you know, none of my videos have ever been sponsored and they will never be sponsored. It really is a reference library for us. So azelaic acids, the benefits of azelaic acid, they just keep giving and giving. So it's a great experience exfoliator is great for red marks and brown marks post acne. It helps with acne itself, it's good for rosacea and it's also very good for pigmentation. So these are all problems that the skin of colour community faces. The other major benefit is that it's safe to use during pregnancy and for pregnancy, um, if you want me to make a whole pregnancy video on pigmentation and exfoliation and skincare routines, can you just write down uh, pregnancy videos, please? But um, I, I can tell you right now that I would add azelaic acid to it because we get melasma during pregnancy. In addition, it's, it's harder for us to exfoliate our skin. Our skin can be more sensitive. Um, and we shouldn't be using things like vitamin A on the skin during pregnancy. So actually a lot of the products on the market are not suitable to use during pregnancy, but azelaic acid is, and it's a power horse of an ingredient. I also love it for acne because for us, we actually get three things that happen to us. Not only do we have the acne, we also have the red marks and we have the brown marks. So that's the PIE, post-inflammatory erythema, and the PIH, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Now, azelaic acid is a commodiolytic. That means it goes into the pore, it goes deep into the pore, and it helps to take away the dead skin, and it's also bactericidal, so it kills any bacteria in the pore. It's also keratolytic, which means it actually exfoliates the skin, which helps with the the brown marks. In addition, it's anti-inflammatory, which is what helps it with the red marks. And just to top it all off, it's an antioxidant as well. So it helps to mop up free radicals, which can lead to premature aging. It's important to know, however, that with azelaic acid, a majority of the clinical studies were done at 15 to 20%. And actually over the counter, you can only purchase maximum 10%. So it's not gonna be as effective as higher percentage of azelaic. And this is why I like to use azelaic acid in formulas in cocktails with other actives so that they work synergistically um, rather than you know just a 10% azelaic on its own. So I've written down a whole list of ingredients that I would personally formulate azelaic acid with specifically for skin of colour. Um, I love it with PHA, BHA, so that's your polyhydroxy acids, your BHA is your salicylic acid. I love it with mandelic acid, so that's an AHA, large mole uh, molecular weight AHA. Um, I like it with vitamin C derivatives such as tetrahexyl decal ascorbate and sodium ascorbyl phosphate uh, as opposed to ascorbic acid which is pure vitamin C because that has low pH and can be quite irritating. In addition azelaic acid is pH skin neutral so it's at about 4 to 5 and so azelaic um, ascorbic acid has a lower pH than this often at about 3 um, and so you're not going to get maximum efficacy of either ingredient when you put those two together. I love it also with retinaldehyde, uh, with retinal palmitate, because it's not irritating at all. I love it with niacinamide, green tea extract, or alpha arbutin. So alpha arbutin, it's a very powerful tyrosinase inhibitor too. So the two together um, are great for pigmentation for skin of color. 
Now, as a formulator myself, it's much easier for me to formulate with potassium azelal diglycinate at about 3 to 10%. This is basically azelaic acid plus glycine. So the P is pH skin neutral, plus it means I can use a lower percentage, which is important when you are creating a cocktail formula, because imagine you've got eight to 10 different actives that you need to be using at different percentages. If you have to use 10% azelaic acid, it doesn't give you much margin to add in any other actives. And that's why I, I like to use um, the derivative of it, which is basically what I've done in the bikini pigmentation kit in the mask, uh, which you can have a look at the back of the ingredients list. As always, I give you my favorite product recommendations for skin of color that are non-sponsored. So the ones that I love are the Ordinary 10% Azelaic Acid Suspension. Um, it's at a very reasonable price and it's something that actually all of us should have tried at some point. Um, I probably start with that uh, because it's the cheapest one. The next one I like is Lumizella A15 Serum from Face Theory because it also includes green tea extract and aloe. So green tea extract is a very soothing antioxidant and aloe is an anti-inflammatory. I would use that on clean skin and then moisturize on top. And the third product I love is Paula's Choice 10% Azelaic Acid Booster. It's also an excellent product, but it is more expensive. So I always say start cheap and work your way up. Now combinations I would avoid with azelaic acid would be ascorbic acid plus azelaic acid, especially high percentage ascorbic acid um, I don't even mind low percentages. If you're looking at about 1%, that's fine. Uh, retinol plus azelaic acid, because retinol is an alcohol and it's already irritating. I wouldn't then add in an exfoliator with it, which is what azelaic acid is. Uh, I also wouldn't use glycolic acid plus azelaic acid, because again, glycolic acid is my least favorite AHA. It's a tiny molecule, can fly through the skin, lead to hot spots. So imagine you're doing that and then you're putting on azelaic acid, which is an exfoliator at the same time. It's not something I would recommend for skin of color. I know I get accused sometimes of fear mongering. It's not like, you know, you've destroyed your skin if you do those three combinations together. Uh, it's just that if you imagine this channel has had 24 million views. Uh, these are people of color, skin of color. Now, for me, I can't afford to even have 1% irritation because it would mean hundreds of thousands of damaged skin barriers, which I cannot do. And this is why I always err on the side of caution when it comes to skin of color. I want you to get maximum benefit, but without irritating the skin. Because for us, when we irritate the skin, it can take months, sometimes even years to heal. Sometimes it will never heal. And I'm very, very conscious of that. So... I hope that this video has been helpful to you. Um, please just listen to what I've said just because you'll get the best outcome without irritating your skin. Don't forget, I'm in the comment section for one hour at the launch of every single video. Please do hit that notification bell. Please do follow me on Instagram at the Hyperpigmentation Clinic and Skincare by Dr. V and also on TikTok, which is Dr. Nita Ratan. Thank you so much for watching.